So I am starting the Big Poplar Loop at the Pine Mountain Trail in Pine Mountain, Georgia at F.D. Roosevelt State Park. day. Uh, it's cool, it's breezy, it's beautiful. It's so nice to be somewhere other than my usual trails in Florida. Uh, this is different and really just gorgeous. So happy to be here. It's going well so far. The trail is uh, more difficult than Florida trails. A lot more up and down, uh, but that's good for me. So excited to be here. It's right at five o'clock and I think I'm very close to camp, like maybe half a mile away. Um, and I was just thinking that I've never really been on the trail this late. Uh, I mean, it's not late, but it's the latest I've ever been on the trail. And I love the way uh, the sunlight looks to the trees at this time of day. It's kind of a nice tree and a new thing for me. Here's camp for the night. This is Turtle Bluff campsite. Nice little fire area over there. And then over here, still in the process of kind of getting set up, but I have my tent up. And yeah, it's just really beautiful. A little bit of a harder time this time, but I still got it. Hey guys, so it's about 7.15, I'm at camp, I'm all set up. I ate a little bit, didn't really enjoy my dinner, but that's okay. Actually, I only ate half of it and then I ate a Snickers bar and a bag of popcorn, so that was dinner. <laughs> but um, anyway, I ate my dinner, I did all my camp chores, got my bear bag hung, got my water filtered and so on. Um, so yeah, I'm good. I feel really good. Today's hike was tough. A lot of uphill. Not at all like a Florida hike, but um, it was awesome. The weather's beautiful. Um, and yeah, no headache, no nausea. I feel like I'm going to sleep tonight. There are actually people um, at another campsite down the hill a little ways. Um, like I can hear them. I can smell their campfire, so I feel very safe. I've seen a lot of people on the trail today. I've seen some other backpackers. Um, so that's felt really good. Um, and so yeah, it's my first night. I'm at 
Turtle Bluff campsite. And I, yeah, I'm doing great. Really happy to be here. I, I think this might be closer to like what I really wanted from a backpacking experience. Uh, so yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Guys, so it's morning and I am cooking breakfast and making coffee in my vestibule. Well, there's the campsite. And I'll show you guys my messy tent and I'll tell you about that in a second. piece of your own is just sprawled out. Some stuff's out here and over here. Yep. Hey guys, so I uh, just finished eating breakfast at camp for the first time. I didn't bother with it last time because I was just ready to go. Um, but yeah, it was not good. It was crappy. I made this um, good to go oatmeal. I was really excited because it smelled delicious, but it was gross. It was like mushy, just really not good. Um, and then I had coffee, Alpine Star coffee with cream. And it was good, it was fine. Um, I could do that totally. Um, but then since I wasn't doing well with the oatmeal, I thought, well, I'll do something like salty. So I opened up some of these little Vienna sausages and I ate one and it was just like the most disgusting thing I've ever tasted. So <laughs> yeah, now I'm just munching on a kind bar and calling it a day. Well, I just made it the 0.2 miles up the hill back to the Pine Mountain Trail and <laughs> this pack feels heavy and my calves are burning and yeah, y'all, this is rough. Um, am I having fun right now? No. Am I still glad to be out here? Yes. camp this morning I hiked about another 1.7 miles back to my car um, it was a pretty tough hike a lot of uphill very beautiful nice morning um, so anyway that concluded the first loop in my trip the big poplar loop um, and then, like I said I made it back to my car had about a five minute drive to the next parking lot and that's where I'm at now um, and so next up is the Wolfden Loop. I think I've been calling it like the Foxton Cove Loop or something like that, but it's the Wolfden Loop. And it's uh, 6.7 miles, and my campsite is I think 3.5 to 4 miles in. Um, so yeah, that's what's next. It kind of felt like way too good to be in my car. It's nice to be able to resupply from my car every day. Um, you know with this plan but the downside is that um, yeah you, you just get way too comfortable so <laughs> I did take a little nap in my car and I did eat lunch in my car uh, and now I have to get out of the comfort of my car and get back on the trail um, but it's good um, so this trail has been a lot more physically demanding than I expected I guess I just honestly didn't think that hills like this were in uh, southern Georgia, but yeah, it's been a lot of up and down, especially for um, a Florida girl. So <laughs> yeah, um, and another thing that I haven't really 
talked about or haven't necessarily wanted to emphasize is that I'm heavy. Like I, uh, I don't know when it happened, but sometime in the last few years, I just lost control of my weight and I'm way heavier than I should be. Um, and I feel it, you know, I'm not in shape. It's, uh, really difficult for me to do these climbs and my pace is really slow and uh, yeah um, I'm not out here to lose weight like it's not one of my main reasons but then again I don't really have a main reason I'm out here for a lot of things you know for the beauty of nature for my mental health for um, the confidence that it gives me to have fun for the social aspect for a lot of things but among those reasons yeah I'm out here to improve my physical health um, but that's a journey and I know that it's gonna be tough and obviously it is tough um, but yeah I'm just going at my own pace um, I'm just taking it slow taking a lot of breaks and uh, try not to be self-conscious about my weight um, you know, there's no size or shape that deserves to be in the outdoors. If uh, you're out here and you're doing it, then you belong to be out here doing it. Um, so I'm, you know, trying not to, and I really don't struggle too much with that or like what people think, but it's physically challenging. Um, and it's so good for me. Uh, it'll get easier and uh, just like it'll be good for um, all these different areas of you know, my life and of who I am, this will be good for my physical health. Um, but it's just a journey and my body hurts and it kind of sucks, but it's also kind of wonderful. So here we go, guys. I'm about to get back out there and do some more hiking. Change of scenery here. 
am at camp for night number two and I thought I'd show you all around. So here is my water source, this beautiful little stream. And this is the trail right here. And an old sawmill, that's me. So I was thinking that my campsite is awfully close to the trail. Um, but it turns out that this is kind of like the secondary camp spot. The true campsite is way up there. So it would have been more private, but I'm closer to the water source here. And I'm lazy, and I didn't want to move my tent, so I'm camping here. <laughs> um, so yeah, here's my tent. And right over here is the fire ring. I have my supper cooking in that bag there. And then over here, I have some things laying out on the line to dry, if you will. So yeah, home for the night. Hey guys, so I'm waking up in my tent. It's the second morning uh, on this trip. I'm on the Wolfton Loop, and uh, yeah, it was a good night. I slept a little more. Uh, it was a little bit more comfortable. I still don't find sleeping on this sleeping pad uh, optimal, but you know, it's getting better. I think I'll get used to it. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear that. There's been like these little things falling from the trees all night. Or at least I guess that's what it is. Um, but anyway, my mom was texting me and she asked how I was doing. And she asked, um, have I been scared at night? And honestly, I, I told her, you know, I haven't. Um, I really thought I would. Like I really thought that would be something that was hard for me is like being alone at night and I thought I would feel lonely and afraid and isolated but um, really I feel very peaceful in my tent at night um, even like if I think I hear an animal out there it doesn't really freak me out a couple times last night I kind of said hey go away you know I thought maybe a deer was getting into my clothes that I had accidentally left hanging out there um, but you know, it didn't really unnerve me, um, and so I'm really pleasantly surprised to find that I don't feel scared at night. I feel peaceful, so that's a nice thing. <sighs> anyway, it's like 7.40 and I haven't made myself get out of the tent yet, but I gotta do that now. So, here we go. Alright guys, so I made myself get out of my tent. And I made some coffee. And this is a special coffee. This is a Starbucks instant white mocha. So I'm pretty excited. So I am sipping my coffee. It's very good. Um, just, yeah, enjoying being at camp and enjoying the morning in the woods. I'm happy because I did sleep a little better. I mean, I couldn't say I slept well, but <laughs> um, I slept better. Um, so I'm thinking about my day from this campsite I have about two and a half miles to my car or you know that's the end of this loop so I did the big poplar loop and today in about two and a half miles I'll be finishing the Wolfden loop um, <clears throat> and then from there I just had an extra night so um, I tagged on another campsite I knew that it was kind of close to the car but I didn't realize that it was like 0.8 from my car <laughs> So that would be a, a really nice short day, like three and a half miles, um, and I'd be at camp again. Um, and the camp would only be, you know, 0.8 miles from my car to hike the next morning. Um, 
but then I'm also kind of thinking like as fun as this is I still have to go back to work so I'd be checking out Tuesday you know going back to my car packing up camp going home getting ready and going right back to work on Wednesday morning for another two 12-hour nursing sh shifts um, but if I you know went ahead and finished my two loops this morning and uh, got ready and took my time and got a shower and got something to eat and went on home I would have tomorrow to kind of rest and uh, prepare for getting back to my real life um, and you know I can't decide I think I'm just gonna decide once I finish this morning's hike back to my car um, it sort of would make sense to just go on home I feel like um, plus, you know, I am pretty physically exhausted. This trail was more demanding than I thought it would be. So my entire body aches, like my shoulders, my back, my thighs, my calves, my butt, my arms, my shoulder, you know, I just, my whole body aches, which is good. Like, I mean, that feels good, but it's also very tired and I'm having a hard time eating, which I've heard other backpackers say that they... Uh, don't like to eat when they're on a like weekend backpacking trip for some reason they're just not hungry or they you know don't like the thought of eating um, <clears throat> and so I've probably consumed <clears throat> excuse me only about like 1500 calories since I you know started hiking for the very you know first day here um, and yeah like I'll make food and I'll eat a few bites and then it's like oh this is disgusting and I can't eat anymore even like my mountain house meal I made last night like I think it was good I just didn't want it um, and then I eat a few snacks and that's it I had to like make myself eat a uh, Larry and Lenny's complete cookie yesterday it has like 500 calories and it took me like 45 minutes to like bite by bite like force feed that thing to myself even though it's tasty um, so yeah, I don't know what the deal is there, but between like this being super physically demanding on me and not sleeping a lot and not eating very much to kind of help my body recover, um, plus I have to go back to work on Wednesday and Thursday, um, I may call it a day today. I don't know. I just don't know. We'll see. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to finish my coffee and enjoy this beautiful morning and then uh, try to break camp faster than I did yesterday and get back on the trail. And I guess I'll just see how I feel once I'm back on the trail. All right. Dad, all these little mountain streams make me think of you. Uh, I dearly love mountain streams, y'all. That clear icy water with the beautiful rocks at the bottom just does it for me. Um, and if it weren't for the fact that I don't have any swimming clothes, and people would think I'm crazy walking by on this trail, I would be in that little pond right there. I might have to get my shoes muddy after all. <laughs> spot was just too pretty to not take a break and while I'm taking a break <laughs> I am drying the clothes I didn't let get dry last night Awesome memories, 
and just had a, a really great time. It was really tough, um, super challenging, um, super exhausting, um, but you know, it was incredible and everything I needed it to be. So um, I'm thankful for that. Um, I've been thinking for the last couple of days that one thing about the trip was that it was just really nice to be exploring again. When I first started getting out and discovering what was in my backyard and started hiking, um, I just, you know, fell in love or maybe fell in love again since I was a kid with uh, exploration, you know, with the thrill of going somewhere new and not knowing what roads you're going to take or what it's going to be like when you get there or what the scenery and the terrain will be like, what people you'll meet, all of that. Um, and so, you know, I've really enjoyed that since I've gotten into hiking, but uh, in the last several months, all I've done is hike trails that I've hiked over and over again. I've kind of already explored everything within like two hours of my home. Um, so I've really missed that uh, exploration. So getting away this weekend, uh, going somewhere different, not knowing what to expect, just sort of renewed that uh, in me and it was an awesome adventure um, and uh, yeah it was great uh, and I'm looking forward to the next thing on my way home I'm thinking about where I want to go next and uh, what I'm gonna do and things I'm gonna change and uh, yeah I'm just really excited uh, really had a great